So today we continue from where we stopped. So we are talking about getting a list of students that belong to a particular department. So for instance, if we go to our H2 database and we have this is department list and we have this is student list. So let's say we uh, select start from, from student. So let's say, oh, what is this? Okay. Let's have a house today and we want to get lists of students that belong only to department one. So we can actually get that from departments because departments contain lists of students. So is it possible we can say something like slash departments slash department one slash student and then it gives us only the students in department one. And if we want to get students in department two, we also say slash department slash two slash students. When we try it now, it doesn't work because we actually have not implemented it in our controller. So let's go to the department controller and see how it works. <coughs> also, take note that we are going to be using something called JPL. Uh, JPL means, uh, I think, J JQL, uh, JPL query language. That is what we are going to be using. More, it's, it's similar to SQL, but it's a bit different. All right. So this is what we the URL uh, mapping. Uh, this is the URL pattern we need. Uh, if you use a type in something like this, and this ID here will be department ID, you will get list of students for this particular department. But before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you don't miss an update. And also, if you have some challenges, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. So let's now write a function. At this point, I'm going to write public uh, we need a list of what? A list of students in that department. So we can just call the name of the function get students by the department. All right, and we have to provide department ID. All right. All right, so now at this point, we don't have any method in the controller or in the, in the service and the repository to give us lists of uh, students by department. So what we are going to do, so let's see, uh, let's see we have, so we have, we can change this to a string, so sorry, integer, integer ID, and this integer ID is going to be coming from the path variable. Uh, you already know what path variable is by now. All right, so, Let's go to our service. Let's go to the department service to see if the repository can help us. So if we go to department service, so we have the return list of department, we have returned a department by ID. So at this point, if I say something like, um, uh, let's say public, public list of students, list of students uh, get students so it's the same method we wrote in our controller that we also write in here so um, all right so so let's see get students by ID so it takes an um, integer ID all right. So let's check if the repository have something to say. Department repository dots. All right, so let's see what comes out. So we have count, we have delete, we have delete all. We have exist, exist by ID, find by ID, get class, and so on. So department repository can, can give us just the department, but it can give us uh, Actually, just the list of the uh, students in the particular department. It can give us this, just this department alone. What of getting just the list of the uh, students in this department? All right. Although you can get the list of students in the department by getting one single department, but this time we just want to get uh, get it from the URL mapping of slash department slash department ID slash students. So what we are going to do is to go to our repository and extend it to be able to provide this item. 
let's go to first let's say here we get students by the department all right and the department id so let's create this method in our repository so i'm just going to say create method in the repository repository is an interface so we don't actually need to provide uh, the definition of these methods to allow the repository the crude repository do it we are going to provide something called jpa query language specification so more like a query language that says select student from department where department id equal to and you know the rest if you know sql this will be very easy so to do that you use annotation at query and then you are going to say in quotes select students from department from department where department the id equals question mark one so this is all you need to do to get this working so at this point once we've done this select students from department where department id uh, equals one then jpa will read this jquery language uh specification or query and use it to implement this item meanwhile this should not be void it should be let's come here so the return type should not be void so i'm going to say return so now we are going to change the return type to list of students in this place so this is what we are going to return so at this point we are pretty much done i'm going to test it we are going to go to the urls uh url what is something here oh i'm going to just say return uh department because we now have the method in department service dots get students by department and give it the ID and there we go so why do we have this error here maybe I just need to save department service dot get students by department so let's check department service that get students by departments not departments by department and now if we go to our controller uh, get student by department this error should go I'm sure the part main there is a typo all right perfect so let's run it and let's try to see if it's going to work so that is how we actually extend the repository you can actually write many other uh, jql style queries to be able to do what you want so now we have an error here it says um unsatisfied error creating being with department control unsatisfied department service error creating department service field department repository all right so i know where the problem is coming from it's coming from our query all right let's go to the query to check select students from department where from the part select student so let's check the department see we have a field called student yeah it's correct so let's see department select student from department where all right so where department.id select students from department guess then by departments so let's see guess students integer do i have to take all this no 
Okay, so let's do it this way. Department D. Department D. We had D that ID equal to one. Select students from department D. We had D that ID equal to one. D. Yeah. Okay. So um okay, so let's run again. Let's see. Well, let me just check something in here. See this. Okay, so I think everything started correctly. So because I'm just checking an example I did before. Select D the student from department D. All right, so let's go test it out. So let's start by saying departments. And we have list of departments. There are four departments there, all right? Um, now let me check for one single department slash one. We have one department and let's say slash or two. We also have one department, department two have uh, one student. So now we want to get the student, only the student for this department. So let's say students. Good, so here we have only one student in department two. Let's try department uh, three. And get the students in department three. So you can see department, department three, and this is department details. And we have four students. Uh, we have four students in all. So let's try department one. So that is it. So this is how we solve this problem, getting lists of department uh, students in a particular department. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to remind you to Subscribe and also like my video and share it. If you have any comment, please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment box below. So we see you in the next class.